of some thunderstorms this afternoon as the heating of the day goes on. So Nate is expected to stay well to our west. No major rain bands, no major winds expected, though some of you, Pinellas County North, maybe up towards uh, Hernando, especially Citrus County. Anytime a big storm rolling into the Gulf, uh, it pushes some water out ahead of it. Tides are already going to be very high this weekend without the storm. Any additional push in the wind or water category from the storm could cause some minor flooding during high tide. These would be areas that are already kind of set aside to flood your parks, some roads that run around uh, areas uh, with water. Uh, but just be careful out there as we head into the weekend. Uh, that is certainly a possibility. There is Nate. It's now reemerged into the Western Caribbean, flaring up again as it's over water. Spent much of yesterday over land. 45 mile an hour storm pressure back down below 1,000 millibars. Here's the track. Notice the center of it. Folks, we are well clear of this thing. 430 miles to the west of Tampa Bay. That's good clearance. Uh, it is expected to become a Category 1 hurricane Sunday morning, 1 a.m., so after midnight, Saturday night into Sunday. And here's the area that we're really watching. Really anyone from Pensacola, Mobile, Biloxi, Bay St. Louis, Gulfport, and New Orleans. Now, if it heads to the east of New Orleans, they're going to get a wind off the lake, Lake Pontchartrain. That's a flood track for them. If it heads from the, to the west of them, they're going to get heavier rain. Either way, New Orleans.